Welcome back to the third and final learning collocations tutorial. Um, in this one, we'll be looking at collocations games for matching collocations and for looking at words that seem to be similar in meaning but actually collocate very differently. And finally, we'll be looking at a collocations dominoes game as well. Stay tuned. Click on the activities area and your um, find three collocations games. If you go to the first one, collocations matching, you'll see um, there are exercises that have already been made to the left. So this one um, is looking at the two verbs make and develop to see which words they collocate with. And essentially what's happened is um, using the British National Corpus, the FLAC system has gone through and pulled out collocations matching those two verbs. So I'm not having much luck. I seem to be stuck on the last two collocations there. Okay. So this gives you an idea of the types of drag and drop activities we have within the system. You can also create your own exercises. And I'll be showing you that in the next game because it has pretty much the same interface. So let's go on to collocations related words. And you can give your exercise a name, uh, usually the words that you're going to be comparing. So here we've got learn and study. If you just click on the review button on the bottom, the system will pull the collocations out of the database, which is based on the British National Corpus. So here you have options for collocations with the words study and learn. You can click on the words to see how the collocations are used in context to see if these are actually what you want to be going into the activity that you're creating. Okay. I'm going to deselect study medicine and I'm going to keep study law make the study of. That seems to be quite an interesting collocation. I'm just going to deselect study the behaviour of and study history. Going up to learn, I'm going to select French but deselect English. Yes, learn the language. Now I'll get rid of that. Have a look language of the pulpit of self-expression. It's quite a useful usage. Learn the ropes. Yeah, very useful expression. I'll keep that one. Which is similar to learn the basics of, but I think I like the more colloquial phrase, learn the ropes. Anyway, so now I'm going to display and what you have again is another drag and drop type interface. Very simple interface. The words at the top will show you how many of each need to go into the blanks. So it's just a matter of dragging them over and syncing them with with the other words on, on the screen. And as you take words from the top two Headers, the numbers will go up and down depending on how you're doing. Okay, so doing reasonably well. At any point you can check the answer um, below in the bottom right hand corner you've got a little check tab if you're not sure. Hmm, okay, I seem to have too many learns and not enough studies. What have I done? And also in the top right hand corner, if you're not sure about the game, you can go to the how to play button, which gives you instructions. Okay, I think I'm about to give up and check the answer. <laughs> so what happens is that we'll highlight isolate which ones you need to work on and it's bumped the verbs back up to the top so it's made the choices more obvious for me. 
check the answer again, well done. And then once you've completed the activity, you can click on the different collocations to get the more in-depth view of the words and context. Okay, so let's go to the third and final game within the collocations game series for this learning collocations collection. Give the exercise a name. I'm just going to call it education. No, I'm going to call it study. I'm going to change this to verb plus noun form. And if you click review down the bottom, you'll get these little boxes appear. And it will automatically populate that form, verb plus noun. But if I want to change the verb and noun patterns, I can stop words. So here we've got surgeons, but it's it's run out of a following noun, so I'm changing it to surgeons plus of plus noun. Stopping again. Surgeons perform, perform tasks. Okay, we're on quite a nice roll now. I think that's probably enough for my first game. So I'm just going to click display. And you'll find these dominoes shapes appearing. So you have one word, you have the same word on either side. So study law, law requires. So you can see this verb noun pattern here requires skill. And then we have skill plus of plus noun. So skill of surgeons. And then back to surgeons, noun plus verb. Surgeons perform, perform tasks. Hmm. Tasks include. To include people. People think, how have we done? Excellent. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how the automated collocations dominoes game works within Flex. I'm sure you'll have lots of fun playing around with it. So this ends the last of three tutorials for the learning collocations connection in Flex. I hope you've uh, managed to see what a powerful resource collection this is and the actual ability to develop activities based on the collection as we've shown in this last tutorial is extremely worthwhile for teachers and for learners. These interfaces have been designed um, with the teacher in mind so you can go through and select the types of collocations you'd like your students to study and you can also register with us and have an account and create exercises that will be saved within the system for you and your students to access but also for other people to access as well.